Hi everyone, Sarah from Mimi Designs. Going to show you a quick tutorial on the um, wake of the lake or relax you're at the lake. This one's the one that has the oars on it. You'll either have the oars coming here. This one I'm gonna do on a square, but they also come in different sizes. So it's the same technique, same procedure. Um, so what we're gonna do is this, it's gonna come pre-framed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is gonna nest in. I'm gonna show you a little trick to help it nest better. Um, Peel back the tape, because you're really only going to want it on the letters. So peel back the tape and cut it so just the blue. That way when you're going to nest this stencil inside the frame, this tape is not going to get in your way. So once that is done, you can flip it over and you can start peeling your stencil. What you're going to do is just make sure white side is up on like a flat surface. That way, as you peel any little pieces that pop up, you're gonna push back down. Especially like the insides of these tiny letters, they're gonna wanna pop up on you. So just keep peeling. I don't really have a flat surface because I'm inside this frame. I'm almost there. See that little guy? Make sure they all stay down as you're peeling. Then you can rest this right in there and you're gonna to wanna to line up the top. See how straight that is? Then that way you don't have to measure and you'll know this line's gonna be straight so everything else is gonna be straight. So you're gonna rub it down really well. If you want, you can grab a credit card and really seal that down or usually you won't need to do that. Then take that clear top layer off. Again, if any little pieces pop up on you, you are going to wanna make sure they stay down. Okay. Then you're gonna grab Mod Podge. And you're gonna do just one coat of this. Use this blank space over here to dab off because you want your coat so light that that's even a little bit heavy so you can Spread it out, dab up and down, don't swipe it around, up and down. And you just want one coat of that. Once the Mod Podge is dry, you don't want to blow dry this part because um, this blue vinyl will melt. This next part, you'll do your paint. So I have cream paint here. You're gonna wanna do multiple coats of this one but you want your coats to be super light. Like I <clears throat> dab off and see how light your first coat's gonna be. Same technique, dab up and down. The lighter the coat, the better. Less, less is definitely more. Dab off so you make sure you're not putting too much on. The thing is, if you put too much paint on this part, even though we Mod Podge, it will sneak under that stencil and bleed. This is the way you can get, make sure it has no bleeds. So go ahead and do one coat of this, come up and do another coat. So there's no rule how many coats um, you need. Two, definitely minimum. I probably did three, maybe even four. You just keep on going until you like the way it looks, but you don't wanna wait for it to completely dry. You actually wanna come and peel it when it's still a little bit on the wet side, it'll be easier to peel. So just get it right off that board. You will notice I did get a little bit of cream on my frame, but that is not a problem. Then in your kit, you should have a little safety pin. Um, what did I do with mine? There it is. And then you can use it to pick out all the little insides. Take your time. Go at it like horizontally and not poking. If you have an X-Acto knife laying around, that's usually what I use to um, pick my insides. But if you don't, it's no problem. So I'm just gonna scratch where I got a little on the thing. It comes right off. If you have little bleeds, you can also use an X-Acto or your pin 
to just get in there and just clean it up just by scratching down to um, underneath. You're just really just scratching the cream off right back down into the navy. So your kit's gonna include sandpaper. Um, you can use it if you want, you don't have to. I love to rough up the edges of my frame. Some people might not, but it just kind of gives it that campy, rustic feel. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing that. I haven't stained that part yet, so ignore that. But that's how I'm sanding the edges. So you can do the inside of it too. And the outside. I'm also going to do the edges of my ore. I don't know why I like to do it do it I just like the look of it it just gives it a little bit of a pop and distressed kind of a worn look so that's what the sandpaper is for if you choose to use it also oh I am going to wait for this to dry completely then I'm just gonna lightly sand my design I like that a little bit of a worn look if you can see you can get a little bit of um transparency through the paint so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sand a little bit and then I'll be right back it is sanded how I like it so the next step is going to be to do the ores so you kind of want to play with them first to make sure they're right where you want them before you glue them I think I got a little paint on that So that is going to be cute. So let's, I'll start with this one. Wood glue is here. You can use whatever you want to put the wood glue on. Um, a Q-tip would work. Um, I'm going just to use a toothpick. Not a lot, because what happens with this is once you push it down, it will squeeze out the side, so you really don't need a ton of this. And it is um, pretty strong stuff. But if you don't do a lot, then you'll be able to move it around where you want it. Okay, I'm going to do this one. You're going to want to do it all the way up the oar, just so they don't lift in anywhere. It takes about 10 minutes for this to dry if you just do a light coat. So once you like where it is, just leave it. And you see how that paint, or not paint, glue kind of bled out a little bit. Grab a Q-tip or even a sponge just to clean it up. And it will dry clear, don't worry. Play around with it. And there you go. Thanks, guys. I'm back. Forgot one more thing. There's a hook in your kit, too. So you are going to just hammer it in right there. You don't want to hammer it on the frame um, because it could separate. So just hammer it in there, and it is ready to be hung on your wall.